Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the best AI features that you should know on Google Pixel 10. Okay, uh, maybe let's begin with the magic eraser feature, which allows us to, uh, for example, erase the uh, traffic or any unwanted sounds from our mm, videos and recordings. Uh, and we can also use the eraser to erase the objects from our photos. Uh, to do it, let's open up the photos. Uh, I'll show you how to erase uh, the things from the photos. Uh, so first, we need to. I need to find actually the photo from which I can uh, erase something. Maybe uh, give me a second. Maybe uh, that photo. And let's say uh, we don't want this uh, mouse pad to be right in here. We need to, and we want to erase it. So to do it, uh, open up the photo. Click on the edit. Now select the actions and use the magic eraser. It will scan for the photo and now we need to select the object that we want to uh, erase just like that. Okay, it has been selected and now click on erase. Boom, as you can see it has been removed from our photo. Uh, it doesn't even uh, left any uh, reflections or shadows, so it works uh, in a pretty good way. Click this button to save the photo. Now we can click on save as copy. And that's all. Pretty easy thing. And you can see and now the photo mm, from which we have erased this mouse pad. Works brilliant. Pretty cool thing. Okay, next thing is the uh, Gemini. Uh, and are things that we can do thanks to it. Uh, so, for example, let's say that uh, we want to uh, set an alarm mm, for tomorrow because we have uh, something uh, really uh, important to do. Uh, let's say mm, a birthday party. Uh, uh, Sam's birthday party, let's say in that way. Our friend Sam is organizing the party and we don't want to forget about it. So we don't need to manually uh, set an alarm um, to remember about it. We can simply ask the AI and give a task to the Gemini uh, to save it, uh, to save uh, an alarm. Uh, to launch the Gemini, we need to hold the power button and we will be able to uh, use the voice command uh, to tell him what to do. So I'll show you how it works. Set an alarm at 6 p.m. and name it Sam's birthday party. I set an alarm for 6 p.m. with the label Sam birthday party. Okay, due to AI, our uh, alarm has been successfully set. Let's make sure that it's actually true. Let's open up our alarms and as you take a look, uh, the alarm has been successfully set. It's named properly Sam birthday party uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow and it's enabled. So that's an example how we can use the AI to uh, into our advantage. A uh, pretty cool thing. Mm, it might save, uh, maybe it won't save that much time, but uh, looks pretty cool and it's really fun to use. And uh, now let's do uh, other things uh, with the AI. Well, for example, mm, let's add an event into the calendar mm, by the AI. Uh, so let's say that uh, on the uh, 6th uh, of uh, September, uh, we need to mm, go to the concert, let's say in that way. And we can also use, use the AI mm, to uh, add an event into the calendar. So let's do it. Add an event into the calendar on 6th of uh, September and name it uh, concert. From uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I've added the event concert to your calendar for September 6th, 2025. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. 
all right as you can see it has been successfully uh, added into our calendar pretty cool thing and it saves uh, a little bit of a time works brilliant when it comes to that uh, all right next thing mm. Uh, we can also mm, uh, speak live with the uh, Gemini mm, to launch this mode and we can uh, simply uh, conversate uh, with the uh, AI in real time. Mm, we can uh, give him our thoughts, ideas, we can ask him what to do in real time. Mm, to enable this mode, launch the Gemini and click right in here. And now we are in the live mode. Uh, you, when you see this chart, it means that uh, I'm currently saying to the AI and it's recognizing my voice. Uh, currently the AI a uh, little bit lagged, uh, so let's stop. Uh, and uh, I'll show you an example of the conversation uh, with the AI. In the live mode, of course. Hi, you know what? Actually, I'm really, really hungry and I would like to eat some uh, pizza. Could you tell me where is the nearest uh, restaurant? Uh, yeah, please, uh, to the first one. Yes, please. Open up the Google Maps then. All right, thank you. So that's how you can uh, talk with the AI in the uh, real time. Of course, that was an example of the conversation. You can do a lot of, lot of more things, but I'll leave it to you to find them out for yourself. Uh, also, we can uh, use the camera um, in the live mode uh, and the AI will be able to describe uh, what it uh, actually uh, sees on the screen and it, uh, it can help us, for example, with recognizing the objects. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, things. Mm, so, uh, I'll show you how to do it. L launch the camera in here. Now it launched. Now let's place something in front of it. So maybe uh, let it be uh, the charger or something like that. Can you see the charger, please? Uh, from what material is it made? Uh, yeah, could you tell me how much can it cost? No, actually I don't, but let's change the uh, topic. In here I have uh, this uh, fake flower with uh, uh, lead lightning, could you please find similar uh, flowers in the internet, because I would like to buy another one. Here it is. The same material but different color, no matter what what color. It can be any. Uh, 
Uh, when you'll find it, please uh, give me a link so I'll be able to find them in internet. Uh, could you open uh, this page? Alright, so that was the example how you can use the AI uh, with uh, this uh, mode, I mean uh, with the camera. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.